Well, guys, here we go. Dark Ether time. Without further ado, let's enter. Vote on the TAC map? Yes, I would like to vote yes to go into the Dark Ether. We're going to Albagra Fortress here in the Dark Ether. Here we are, the Dark Ether. Wow. Seal's broken, zero out of four. Wow, I don't know what's gonna happen here. Okay, we have 30 minutes in the Dark Ether. Oh, it's a tier two zone. Oh, wait, so the Dark Ether isn't its own zone. Oh, wait, so the Dark Ether is just a tier two zone. Oh, dude. Oh, hell yes. Okay, that's awesome. I, I'm definitely ready. We have a seal over here. Can we break the crystals? <gasps> we can break the crystals. Yes, nice. Yes, embrace the power of the P90. Let's go. Oh, hang on. I'm getting my ass kicked here. Hang on. Wait a minute. So here we are. We have this to activate. Activate seal. Okay. Kill zombies near the seal. Oh, oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. We're okay. Hang on. Everyone chill. Everyone chill. Everyone chill out for a second. Oh no. Oh my. Oh my gosh. What just killed me? A super sprinter? Dude, this is why we need to remove super sprinters from zombies. This is why we need to remove super sprinters from zombies, everybody. Right, I'm using ether shroud. I need to pick up armor plates. Okay, first seal done. We ended up using a self revive there, but you know what? It gotta do what we gotta do sometimes, I guess. I'm like, hang on, I'm glowing with some kind of energy. Are the seals giving me power? The seals are giving me some sort of dark ether energy. Oh, this is going to be a horrible location. Oh, no. Activate the seal. There we go. Mimic! Ooh, this is chaotic. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave. Board up the zombies, bob and weave. Put on armor plates. Wait, get kills without releasing the trigger. I got a camo. Hell yeah, let's go. We got a camo. I'm close to gold on the P90, guys. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Insta-kill. Nice. All right, second seal done. That was kind of hectic, but we got it done. We got it done eventually. Okay, here we go. Activate the seal. Here we go. Part three. So, these seals have the, uh, the elemental icons below them too but i haven't had to get kills with each of the elements so i wonder what we're actually doing here like are we just cultivating the powers of the elements through each of the sigils i don't know i don't know what's exactly happening here this location is already a little bit easier than the other one. Ooh, double points nice do we get points for each of the seals, too? I haven't been paying attention to that, but I feel like we're getting points for each of the seals, too. But I'll tell you, I probably wouldn't have survived as long as I have if it wasn't for the P90. The P90 is so good. Alright, guys, one more. As we make our way through the Albagra Fortress here. Alright, activate the last seal. Here we go. This reminds me of the Samantha Maxis part of the Forsaken boss fight where you're charging things up. At least the zombies are dropping me a ton of armor right now, though. That's what I really love to see. Okay, that's good. The last sigil is done. Okay, now it wants me to leave the Dark Aether. Uh, it's a camera just showed up out of nowhere. I don't understand that one, but okay. <laughs> camera! Big Brother is watching. Is this all the Dark Aether area is? Is it really just doing lockdowns? I highly doubt that's all there is to it, right? I highly doubt it. Something's gonna happen. I, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Something happened. Oh my god, it's a giant worm. It's a giant worm. It's Gormgant. It's Gormgant. It's the brother of Orcus. Oh, he's gonna slam me. Oh. Okay, boss fight time, everybody. Okay, P90. P90, I need you to do good. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What's attacking me? Oh, it's our Dark Aether balls. Dark Aether orbs are attacking me. Jesus. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hang on. I need, to, I need to not get close here. I need to not get close. Just shoot the sides. Just keep shooting the sides. Keep shooting the vulnerable sides. Oh, God. 
Do those dark e Oh, laser! Those dark ether balls. Well, they do a lot of damage. Oh shit, I'm low on ammo. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Ah, ah, ah! Oh my god, dude, stop. Oh my god, he flung me into the sky. You know? Surprisingly enough, him eating me just saved my life. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. Not great. Not We're not in a great spot right now. I don't have ammo. I don't know what to do. Wonder Wolf doesn't do shit against him. Bro, I need fucking ammo. Finally, I got some ammo. Worm. Hello? Where's the worm? <laughs> Where did the worm go? Okay, well, this gives me an opportunity to break some of these crystals. And maybe get ammo. Oh, there's the worm. Is there an ammo crate somewhere I can refill at? Or what? Oh, dude, I'm so dead right now. Yeah. Oh, man. That's hard. That's really hard. I don't have any self revives either. If it wasn't for the dark ether orbs, I think I would be okay. But uh, those dark ether orbs really kicked my ass. I should have used my juggernaut suit. I don't know why I didn't use my juggernaut suit. I brought in the juggernaut suit just in case the dark ether was really hard. And then I just never used it. Since I died, and I had tombstone, and I died with tombstone in the dark ether, where does my tombstone stash go? That's what I want to know. Where does my tombstone stash go huh and then for gold camo on the p90 i have to get 100 kills and successfully extract so that's interesting we're very close to gold on the p90 so my tombstone stash where is it it's over here weird it's not even close to the portal <laughs> it's not even close to the portal. I guess I'm going to get my, uh, going to get my tombstone stash. Ah, okay, I see what they're doing. Your tombstone stash is at the graveyard. Okay, that, that's pretty funny, actually. And so, that was my untimely demise in the Dark Aether facing the Dark Aether Worm Gormgaunt. Now, since that game, I haven't been able to sit down and really grind out Modern Warfare 3 Zombies for one of two reasons. The first reason being that Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is insanely unstable, so when I go to actually regain and get all this nice equipment to go back to the Dark Aether, the game just crashes and I lose all my progress. And number two, I haven't had enough time to do it. So today, because I want to see the Act 4 ending cutscene, I'm going to react to it right now here at the end of the video so without further ado let's go ahead and watch we have the entity here let's see what we have the presence Ooh, this is not your domain it is ours Ooh, oh creepy she's got to take her dark ether pills oh boy what's going on here someone's breaking into the facility oh boy all the zombies and jump scare. Maybe? No? Dang. It's like a horror movie almost. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. The Requiem crew. Ooh. Let us in. The Requiem crew coming back from beyond the grave. Ooh. She's gonna run out of ammo. How many magazines does she have? Yeah, there she goes. She's out of ammo. Oh, no. Not the denizen. <laughs> they really put that in there. Oh. Did she? Wait. What? Oh, oh, so that was all just a vision. That was all just a dream. Oh, so the dark ether forces are telling her kill Ravanov. Oh, and that's Weaver and Gray. Oh, because she was looking at the case files. Oh, no. Oh, she was looking at the case files. My goodness. Okay. 
Well, that was pretty interesting. Oh, and by the way, shout out to AF Guides HD for providing the footage here for the cutscene. So she was looking at the case files for Maxis Weaver Ravnov. She's learning the Black Ops Cold War story, is what I'm gathering here. And the Dark Ether entities are showing her visions of the zombies breaking through into the other world. Weaver and Gray and Strauss and, and all the other characters there in the Dark Ether waiting to be released. Wow. Oh, this is weird because I wonder what's going to happen in 2024's game because with that, there's going to be a huge section of the Dark Ether storyline that has to be filled in, right? So I wonder if the Requiem crew, they became zombies, they went to the Dark Ether, but they're almost zombie half-human because in this vision, we see that it almost looks like they're commanding the zombies. Again, this could just be some... Dark Ether, Ethereum enhanced hallucination of some kind, but I don't know. Treyarch, Treyarch likes to throw things like this in for a reason. So they're not just going to say, oh, look, it's Weaver, it's Carver, it's all these guys just for a little bit of fan service in a story cutscene like this. At least I don't think. I would hope they wouldn't. But that's very interesting because this, uh, this glowing purple eye is different from all the yellow eyes. So. Yeah, I mean, that they're going to be different. They're going to be different in some way, and Treyarch's next game in 2024 is going to explain that. A little bit of an interesting, <laughs> a little bit of an interesting misdirection here with Ava killing Ravenov in the, in the cutscene, too. So maybe that's the Dark Aether entities getting to her. The evil within is telling her to kill all of her comrades and become one with this entity that we see here at the beginning of the video, which it looks a lot like old Samantha Maxis, just the silhouette of how it looks. It looks a lot like old Ether Samantha Maxis, which we all know Samantha Maxis is still going to play a very important part in the story. And of course, we saw here at the end. Maxis. So I think throughout the seasonal life cycle here of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, we are probably going to see Maxis come back at some point. I think it's inevitable at this point, and she'll probably come back as some sort of Dark Aether entity or ghost or maybe even a zombie of some kind, or maybe Maxis was so corrupted by the Dark Aether she becomes an enemy herself and she is maybe a boss fight somewhere along the line. I don't know, but that'd be kind of interesting. But anyways, guys, that was my initial reaction to the Gormgaunt boss fight in Act 4 of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, as well as my reaction to the ending cutscene. What do you guys think about Act 4? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video, and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. And with that said, have a fantastic the rest of your day or night depending on where you are in this crazy world and i'll see you guys next time